Have you ever felt like all the stacks uh, and odds were, you know, stacking against you? Maybe right now during the uh, recession, you're not alone. Uh, listen, I'm sitting at a place right here where I was a couple nights ago. I did a presentation on like a licensee pitch to a guy who wanted to use my network for advice and it really uh, stuck with me a lot. I actually was back here trying to connect him with the payment processing company. So those who don't know, this is the guy, uh, Navid's his name, he owns KB Payments. Um, they've done it for, they do all the Clover and processing stuff and he's big in it and he does referral fees for people that can do it and refer him. And he's hungry to really just get back his daughter, man. It's a crazy story. Uh, I don't know if I, I'll, I'll go too much in it, but you know, when I find, if you ever want to pitch me, it's not how much money I can make. Uh, it may never, it may be one time, but it's not right now. It's it's why you're doing what you're doing. So those who don't know me, I am just like Brandon. I think it's going for Skrill and Ever. I'm sure I stopped in here the other day. I had an argument with a girl right here who said, you're, uh, it was something like, that she challenged me to find, uh, she's like Tony Robbins. She didn't like Grant Cardone, but she likes Tony Robbins, right? And as I'm building on Change Life Consulting and what we're building out, right? Um, it's very important to see that, man, everybody's hurting, man. Like my brother, Josh Lewis Growth is right. Everybody's hurting and Tony Rodriguez of Get Up and Grow says he wants to ease the suffering. Everybody's going through pain and it's okay, man. Pain's okay. Pain means uh, you gotta pay attention to something and, and change something, right? Or you gotta do something about it. You can't just like mask yourself in pain and, and do it the right way. You know, I actually saw one of my uh, friends, business partners actually pass out and um, you know, he's going through a lot, man. And uh, you know, he has, I don't know if it was a diabetic shock or what it was, but it um, it really affected me in a way because I saw my his life flash before my eyes, and it really brought me back to when I lost my brother and I went to wake him up. And you know, life is so precious and important. As we're supposed to be doing a, a 3:30 call here um, with the CLCG Live uh, thing with Amber that she opted into. Um, it really makes me think, like. Man, and on, I watch other people who've kind of maybe did the whole business um, thing before me. There's a guy, Bill Hauser. We do a huddle meetings. We don't probably even do as well as with him, right? And I went and sold windows back in the day to learn from multimillionaire. Because to be honest, I was too scared to go out on my own and start my business. I, uh, I went and figured I'd learn from a multimillionaire. And now I have my own business. And now people rely on me uh, for connections, for leads. Who do you got, Jeff? Um, for payment, right? I'd have it no other way. Uh, I like this. I don't ever want to go back. And even if I had to go back and bartend again, right? Uh, it would only be still, it would be never quitting on the same goal, right? Uh, so anyway, that's it. I just want to come share. Um, also, I will say in, you know, Aturo and my best friend and uh, guy, high ticket coach now, the bait funnel guy, made 30,000 one weekend and now he's, he's crushing, he's over in Peru. Um, you know, he's very aware that any girls right now are trying to play me, right? And um, you know, I think I'm just so open with my heart. Uh, was like this with the wedding day girl. She gets mad. She sent you. She was very helpful on the other day. Um, I'm kind of very transparent. Okay, hey, this is what I want. This is where I'm going. I want to run for president. Are you okay with that? I just at the point, maybe I won't, but like, hey, I see where this nation's going. I'm willing to go put it out there. I love Miami. You know, I would never want to leave. And I, I'm willing to go to freaking Washington, D.C. and deal with a bunch of bureaucrats just for the better of America so we can have the next Kokomo Jays, right? So... Um, who knows if, if uh, we'll ever get to that point. You know, maybe I don't, I don't speak the best and you know, I'm working on my communication and all that too. And you'll see this all as we grow, but I think that's everybody. We're all working on something, you know? And if we all work on it together, uh, it's a lot better than just working on stuff solo, right? And feeling like nobody sees. So if you're not seen, I want to say that you're seen. I see you, you're heard. Um, I have my, my Legion thing on here. We got to get on a call with Craig. It's the whole NFT thing in the future world. And also, we're doing AI, AI technology, AI training. By the way, I slept in this shirt. Um, it's a long story. And also, I will say this, and I don't know, this is a bragging point. Like, I was like, man, what president would I be? More like JFK. At the club, I had uh, Nia Patel, and I think she was a little drunk. She came over and just grabbed me and kissed me. And then I had another girl just grab me and kiss me. And I really felt, man, I'm getting sexually harassed here. Like, I, I mean this. Like, I didn't even go in there. I wasn't drinking. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's nice. But, like, at the same time, like, you know, I'm serious. Like, this, uh, maybe I'll start another movement for any good-looking guys that are getting uh, that. But, hey, I'm being funny, but it's a true story. I wish I wish it was. And I, you know what the funny thing is? Like, some of the, the guy I was with or whatever, like, I want other people to do it. And then... You know, always the person you like. Um, 
you know, they're just, they're idiots sometimes, you know? So, anyway, that's it. All right, guys, talk to you later. Click like, subscribe, and share if you like these moments. If you don't, still do it anyway, because you're going to be sorry you didn't do it.